Hey guys, uh, welcome to College United Engineering Bungan Gumede. So today we'll be doing a uh, task number 10 or sequence 11. Okay, so I'm going to read you the statement. The statement says that uh, when the start button is pressed, uh, both motors must start rotating only after 10 seconds. Okay, so when you press the start button, we need both motors to only rotate after 10 seconds and then it says that after another 10 seconds one motor must stop automatically the second motor must continue to run unless it is stopped by stop button or emergency stop okay so that's what the statement says so now um let's let's uh let me zoom zoom in okay so this is tax number 10 i've sent it on uh I've, I've did a post on uh task 10. okay so now i will also put the write the statement down on the description so that you can always find it and read it for yourself but before we continue there's a statement here i wrote which says keep on learning and always be confident okay don't forget that always keep on learning and always be confident when you are busy with your tasks or tackling these sequences okay so let's start remember the statement says that when you press this start button we need both motors to only start rotating after 10 seconds okay so if you check my control circuit i've got um my start button my start button i've put km1 and uh, a normally open of timer 2 okay so this is a normal open for timer 2 just that you can't see it properly because of this line but this is uh for normal open of timer two okay so i've got my cam one my cam two which is a coil for contactor one coil for contactor two and i've put my light in or you can say pilot light uh when it goes green it means that your cam one is energized but when it becomes white just like as it is now it means that uh, your cam one is not energized and your motor is not running also on this side um this uh, light when it turns to green it means that you came to as energized and your motor is rotating and then i've got my timer one which is a delay on and i've got my timer two which is a delay off okay so when you press the start button we want your timer to energize immediately because if remember the statement says that when you press the start button your motor one and motor two must only rotate after 10 seconds so that is why i say that uh, your timer which is your delay on time it must energize immediately and start to count okay so if we press the set button our timer one will energize but now if you see here there's an open loop or a, a normal open of timer one uh, which uh, prevents your km1 and your km2 from energizing so but how do we keep make sure that your timer one is continuously being energized we do that by adding a delay of timer here yeah? see i've added a coil of delay of timer in such a way that when you press the start button immediately your delay of will energize and remember a delay of timer works in such a way that when you put power on it its contact change uh, positions and then when you de-energize it then it starts to count and then it changes contact to its original position so now when you press the start button your t2 which is your um, delay of will energize and then here it will become a closed um a closed connection this normal open will now become a normal close to allow current to keep on energizing your timer one okay and then we, we can put a normal open as our retainer of timer one because of a delay on timer will change contact after it has finished counting so but this one at least a, a delay of timer immediately when you put power on it it changes contacts okay so we've covered that one and then after preset time of timer one finishing to count then this one will become a normally uh close so your came one and your came two will definitely energize same time and then your lights also must go green and then after um, 10 seconds both motors uh, have started rotating we need your km2 or your motor 2 to stop rotating so we do that by adding a normally open of uh, timer 2 which is your delay of timer so in such a way that uh, 
when the delay of timer energizes immediately it changes contacts right so here it will become a normally closed okay so we've covered that one but now immediately when your term km1 and your km2 starts rotating this one the normally those will now become a normal open so that it causes your timer 2 to start counting okay so now let's go online and press so that we can see the simulation part of it okay my fuses are uh, activated okay so let me press the start button you'll see what will happen you want uh your your motor one and motor two to start rotating after 10 seconds or press at a time okay let's press that button and we see immediately when i press the start button your normally open is now a normally close even here your normal open is now a normal close and this is for a delay of timer and you see your delay of timer is not counting but your delay on is counting you see now it's on three it's going to go to two now you see it's on two your this is your delay on timer but now it's a normal open here we want it to close so that your motor one and motor two start automatically after preset a time or 10 seconds we'll see soon it will um it will be down counting so and then we'll be able to get your motors to start you see now uh, both motors are running and uh, both came one and came two are energized and you see that uh, your green your lights are now green this one is green to show that your uh, motor one is, is rotating and this one is green to show that your motor two is rotating and we see that the delay of timer uh, is counting okay it's counting so that here yeah, it will become a normal open so that your came to must stop remember we said that now the only way to stop your motor one will be to press the stop button okay and i will write the full statement on the description we see now our motor two has stopped rotating and then we also see that uh, our km2 and our light for, uh, to show that your came two is off both you see uh, what i'm trying to say is that both km2 and its light are off so your motor 2 is not rotating so we have achieved what the statement wanted us to achieve but if you check here the power is still flowing although now uh, your timer 2 is de-energized remember we're using timer 2 as our retainer but now i've added a retainer here also which is a k for km1 which is so that uh, we can be able to keep on supplying power to our uh, delay on timer into our km1 okay so we've got it so that's uh, the statement we've achieved everything so i've just pressed the stop button so now i'm just gonna start the process so that you can see okay let me press the start button okay start button pressed and we said after preset time your two motors must start uh, rotating and then after another preset time one motor must stop and then the other one continues to run and this only stop either by a stop button or emergency stop or in case of overload uh, uh, overload yeah overload cases so you see your timer one is always counting your timer one will never change contact unless it's finished counting so immediately when you energize time one doesn't change contacts nothing happens it just starts to count and then after preset time that's when it starts to change please put that in mind and we see that both now motors are rotating uh, all your lights are on but now your delay of time has now started to count because immediately when your uh, motor one or km1 becomes energized yet becomes a open uh, contact so that your timer two can start to count so that at the end of the day we make uh, came to to become de-energized okay i hope uh, that makes sense so we're just waiting for our time uh, our t2 t to finish counting but i think it's about to finish now it's on zero yes so now we've got it so that's it and the statement said that you must press the stop button or emergency stop for the whole process to stop okay so let me press the emergency stop and we see that everything has stopped okay so thank you for watching mm, let's meet on the next video and if you have any video requests uh, please uh, don't hesitate to comment below and always be confident sharp sharp